Despite these titles, power, and pelf, the wretch concerned all in self. Living shall forfeit fair renown, and doubly dying shall go down. To the vile dust from whence he sprung, unwept, unhonored, and unsung. And you did love the poem. Thank you, John. Thank you. And now, Excellency, Mom, with your kind permission, I would like to request that the assembly please remain seated. The pupils of Avonlea School have prepared a special tribute to someone whom they greatly respect and admire. Someone who has given unselfishly for so long, not only to the school, but to the entire community. Miss Hetty King. Quickly, children, time to get ready for our tribute. Gus! What's he doing? I, uh, come because uh, I want to say something to my teacher, Miss King. You was the first one who ever tried to help me in my life, Miss King. You got me to go to school. You learned me how to chew 10 times so I won't burp. If it wasn't for you, I wouldn't know nothing about learning or about getting an education. I may wreck your king's English, so I'll say my thanks the only way I know. <laughs> 